Good evening, and welcome to the Bristol Community College Student Awards Ceremony. My name is Michael Geary, Assistant Professor of English and a member of the College Awards Committee. It is truly an honor to welcome all of you. This evening, we are here to recognize students who have demonstrated ex exceptional academic growth and development, as well as those who have made significant contributions in service and leadership to Bristol Community College. At this time, I would like to introduce my distinguished colleagues and presenters for this evening's event. To my left, Dr. John J. Spraga, President of Bristol Community College. <laughs> Mr. Fernando Garcia, Chair of BCC's Board of Trustees. Mr. Greg Satharis, Acting Vice President of Academic Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Ozog, Vice President of Students. <laughs> Dr. Michael J. Vieira, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. <laughs> Ms. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President of Resource Development. Ms. Kathleen Burns, Director of Student Engagement. <laughs> Ms. Pamela A. Culinari, Class of 94, Chair of BCC Alumni Association. Right, to my right, Mr. Tom Grady, Professor of English and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program. <laughs> Ms. Joanne Preston, Dean of Humanities and Education. Dr. Calvin McFadden, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences. <laughs> Mr. William Berardi, Dean of Business and Information Management. <laughs> Ms. Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Sciences. <laughs> Mr. Samad Saman, Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering. Ms. Sarah Morell, Dean of Developmental Education and TRIO Programs. I would also like to introduce this evening's American Sign Language interpreters, Denise Chagnon and Elizabeth Nadalski. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the members of the BCC Awards Committee for their tremendous work and support throughout the semester and their assistance in making this event possible. Kathleen Burns, Gloria Cabral, Jenna DiBortoli, Phyllis Dickens, Elizabeth Donovan, Bernadette Driscoll, James Emond, Joseph Frias, Larissa Cradnova, Aaron Martel, Nancy Moxon, and Christine Resendez. Many thanks to the faculty, staff, and students who submitted nominations, and to our student volunteers for handing out the programs and checking in the guests tonight. There are numerous faculty, administrators, and staff in the audience this evening. I'd like to thank you for your dedication and support to Bristol Community College and to our students. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the president of Bristol Community College, Dr. John J. Spraga. Thank you, Professor Geary, and welcome, everyone. What a great occasion this is. Uh, it's one of my favorite nights of the year. We celebrate excellence and uh, the extraordinary work that our students have done. And I know that you would agree with me, students and award winners, that uh, you couldn't be here without the fabulous faculty that we have and the support staff that we have at Bristol Community College. It really sets us apart uh, from all of the other schools. So let's hear it for our faculty and staff. <laughs> well, as I say, this is to celebrate excellence, and excellence is not fashionable uh, in today's society, in my opinion. Uh, the, uh, it, there are a number of critics out there. Uh, the standards that are kept uh, are under attack. Uh, people who can't live up to the standards attack the standards. 
And uh, I want you to be very proud of your accomplishments because we are very proud of you. You are the best of what we have to offer at BCC. You have uh, served as role models for the rest of our students uh, and uh, not, not accepting anything but excellence. And uh, we're very proud of you and all that you have done. You don't even know the role models that you have done for other students, for just people in the street that watch you uh, work so hard to achieve where you are tonight. So we're very proud of you, and if you hear criticisms about excellence, or it's not fashionable to be excellent anymore, it's old fashioned, it is not. It's the best of what this country has to offer. It's the best of what BCC has to offer. And then we're all very proud of you, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to introduce Fernando Garcia, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, to say a few words. Good evening. Congratulations to all of you. We must, uh, speaking about the Bristol, first Bristol County Savings is the sponsor for this evening and they were, they were strong support of the entire community and we wish to thank them, et cetera. You know, funny thing is, I knew I'd make one of these, never as a student, but here I am now, so it's good. But good evening to all. As chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, it is my honor to offer the college's very best wishes and congratulations to all of you this evening. Your hard work and perseverance have earned you great accolades. You have made your family members proud, and we congratulate them as well for their part in helping you achieve this milestone. May you continue your quest for knowledge, and I hope that you will always remember that BCC is where you got the best education possible. I also hope that this institution has been a stepping stone toward your fulfilling your lifelong aspirations and that it has instilled a love for learning in you that will forever be sought. The future is yours. Congratulations. Thank you, Chairman Garcia. And now, Ms. Pamela Culinary, Class of 94 and Chair of Bristol Community College's Alumni Association, will announce the Alumnus of the Year. Good evening, President Spraga, distinguished colleagues, family, friends, and students. It might seem odd to be awarding the Alumnus of the Year Award on an evening that is dedicated to graduating students. This year's recipient, Mr. Peter Silva, may not be a graduating student. However, he is a lifelong learner and contributor within the BCC community and so much more. It is my hope that after learning about Peter and his dedication, and commitment to BCC and the community it serves, that you too will want to give back by becoming an active and valued member of the BCC Alumni Association. Peter was in the BCC graduating class of 1973. The confidence that he gained here as a student was a driving force to continue his education with a bachelor's and master's degree in criminal justice. He became a Massachusetts state trooper in 1975 and was the first state police officer in the country to be deputized as a drug enforcement agent with the DEA. As a sergeant and a supervisor with the pharmaceutical unit, that unit received three commendations from the U.S. Attorney's Office. <clears throat> His retirement in 2007, after 32 years of being on the force, while a loss for the criminal justice system was a tremendous gain for BCC and its community. That same year, Peter became a member of the BCC Alumni Association, rising to vice chairman and chairman.
for six years, Peter has tirelessly dedicated his time, money, enthusiasm, and expertise to the BCC Alumni Association and the college. He took an active role on the BCC Multicultural Committee to understand how the college was promoting its multicultural activities so he might recognize how the Alumni Association could be involved. Peter not only did what he needed to do, he also did the unexpected by volunteering for every fundraiser, meeting, or event that BCC held which he could fit within his schedule. He was additionally supportive of his community, the Fall River, New Bedford area. I dare say that if you asked anyone on campus or within the local area and you were to mention his name, you would receive a response such as, I remember Peter, he served, he helped, he did. He has no expectations of anyone but himself and he holds himself to a very high standard. As the current chair of the Alumni Association, it has been an honor and a great privilege to work with and learn from him for these past six years. I am very proud to call him a true friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present Mr. Peter Silva, Bristol Community College's Alumnus of the Year. That's a big wow we there. Okay. Okay, so uh, to President Sprager and his distinguished uh, faculty, and to all of you, uh, Thank you for your uh, warm applause. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to talk uh, for a second about uh, one of our great, great writers, Ralph Waldo Emerson. He wrote an essay uh, called Compensation. And he wrote that uh, compensation in his day, okay, wasn't talking about money, but it was talking about uh, gratitude and paying tribute. And, and so we wrote, um, in the order of nature, uh, we cannot render benefits to those from whom we receive them. Uh, the benefits we receive must be rendered again and again, line for line, deed for deed, and sent to sent to somebody. So, you know, the irony of BCC recognizing me uh, for my attempts to render thanks for all BCC has done is, you know, just not lost on me. But, whew, um, when I uh, was on the state police, I had occasion uh, one time to be a uh, lead investigator for an internal uh, uh, corruption thing within the state. So uh, as things played out, I got a, my office got a call from the colonel's office, and it was, uh, you know, tell Silva to send me uh, a letter on, the, on what's going on. It wasn't through channels, it was going to be directly to him, which is, you know, unusual. So. I, I do the letter, uh, it goes up, and I'm hanging around for a few days, biting my nails, waiting for the call. <clears throat> I get the call, I go up to headquarters, to the colonel's office, 
And I walk into the room, and there's a stenographer, there's a detective captain, a union boss, and the colonel. I say, hello, colonel. And he says, good job on the report. And I, it just hit me like a bolt. I can't ever explain it, but I say to myself, thank you, BCC. You know. I want to also thank BCC for giving my niece the first educational step when she came to this country from Cape Verde, which was just a few short years ago. Uh, I had only just become aware that I even had a sister and a niece in Cape Verde. <clears throat> and my first conversation with them was, could you send my daughter a dictionary so she can continue to learn her English? Eventually, make a long story short, my niece, as an international student, came to BCC, graduated uh, with honors, went out to Roger Williams, graduated with honors, and next week, uh, she'll be graduating law school. Thank you, BCC. I would, I would like to also thank BCC for being here for my daughter. Now, my daughter went to UMass Dartmouth, uh, had a very good job with a big national company, dealing with Ivy League schools, and uh, during the financial collapse, uh, she watched her company just get smaller and smaller and smaller, and she would call me on the phone and explain how bad there were 40 people in the office, now we're down to 30, now we're down to 25, now we're 15. You know, to make a long story short, she was one of, she was the last, second to the last person that was, that was let go. Uh, she was out of work, and she did two things. She immediately went to BCC and obtained a uh, pharmacy tech certificate and got a job there while she was coming here to school, getting some courses together, doing what she had to do. Meanwhile, her husband loses his job. <clears throat> Make a long story short, she finally gets into the occupational therapy program here and graduates mag magna cum laude. And her and her entire class uh, graduated two years ago. And um, had all, had, all of them got a job within a week, you know. so. You know, thank you, BCC, again. Now, I know a little bit about, I know a little something about gangs. And uh, I really think that there was, uh, I, I think I got ganged up on for this nomination, okay? Uh, there's a bunch of people in this place that's conspired to nominate me. Uh, and though you think you may be hidden, I'm going to tell you who they are. Uh, there's, there's Diane Sylvia and Cynthia Rose from uh, the foundation, uh, from the trustees. Uh, in the alumni office, uh, Liz Murphy, Liz McCarthy, I mean, excuse me, Liz, Mc, Liz McCarthy. And uh, Kelly Landry and uh, Jane Ash, she's the uh, director of alumni relations. And then there's uh, Pat Zukowski. I know she was involved. Kathy Garganta was involved. And our esteemed chair, Pam Culinary, was involved. Well, um, like uh, Emerson said, uh, those who uh, those who give uh, will, will receive in return, okay? So, at this point, I'd like to take a minute out because I'm gonna, uh, I'd like to especially recognize at this moment, among that gang, uh, Director of Alumni Relations, Jane Ash. Okay, now Jane Ash, she has worked tirelessly as a staff member there to 
corral these thousands of cats known as the alumni of BCC. Okay, that's her job. Uh, Jane and her husband, Gary, uh, have um, going to be embarking on a new kind of a new lifestyle, and so Jane will be leaving uh, BCC uh, at the end of the month. So I would like to uh, have Jane rise and be recognized. And I would... They're going to be going on a semi-retired adventure kind of thing. So uh, what I would like everyone to do with me uh, is, on the count of three, I would like everyone to say to Jane and Gary, many happy trails. Nice and loud. One, two, three. To Jane and Gary, many happy trails. Thank you. So as a member of the alumni organization, uh, I have called many alumni and asking them, asking them to support BCC initiatives. Uh, I have heard their BCC stories. There are over 30,000 alumni, and I'm quite Surprised to be recognized as the alumnus of the year. Uh, thank you for the recognition, but you know, my story is, is not unique. Uh, BCC continues to change lives, learner by learner. <laughs> I invite you to support BCC in the future. And while we're talking about the future, smooth sailing to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Silver, for those remarks. Mr. Tom Grady, Professor of English and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program, will now present the Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars. Ms. Joanne Petrasso will assist Mr. Grady with the honors cards. Thank you, and uh, thank you family, friends, and faculty for uh, coming here tonight and looking nice. <laughs> and thank you to students. And uh, thank you gentlemen for looking nice, and a special shout out to the ladies that if you think back to high school when you were arguing for that expensive dress for prom with the excuse that, no, I'll wear it again, well, All right, honors program. Uh, the Commonwealth Honors Program is an enhancement program that helps groom students to be scholars. These students embrace learning for learning's sake. They would rather take risks to being perfect with their GPA than to explore themselves intellectually so they are poised to walk across this stage with the name scholar behind their name, which also enhances their ability to go on to four-year institutions at the Ivy first tier and our esteemed Commonwealth Honors Programs at UMass's and state universities. Um, also, it's notable that um, Massachusetts is a beacon for the nation as it is the only state in the nation that is governed by the Department of Higher Ed for its Honors Program. So this is in a highly esteemed group that have worked very hard, and I am proud to welcome them as scholars and masters under the Commonwealth. Katie Ashworth.
Victoria Barton. Ian Borum. <laughs> Bethany Brazil. <laughs> Charlene Canuel. Kayla Serwin. Logan Davis. Brandy Evans. Camila Fernandez. <laughs> Joanne Field. <laughs> Mariano Gomes. Brittany Guttner. Christopher Harrington. Caitlin Howard. Ariana Jefferson. H. Michael Lasco. Sarah Machado. Jessica Massey. <laughs> Jennifer Moore. <laughs> Joanna Pepe. Melanie Santos. Christopher Shippey. Sandra Smith. <laughs> Craig Velozo At this time, I would like to give a special recognition to our administrative support, 
this position is moving to the Office of Academic Affairs. So I would personally, and on the behalf of the Commonwealth Honor Students, like to thank Joanne Petrasso for her many years of service to this program. This year's John J. Spraga PhD Honors Book Award is awarded to Craig Velozo. Congratulations, honor students. I would now like to present the always fetching Ms. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President of Resource Development, who will present the BCC Foundation Scholarships. Elizabeth. The BCC Foundation is pleased to present the Al and Janine Roy Student Athletic Basketball Scholarship to Kevin Newby. The All USA Academic Team Scholarship is co-sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society and the American Association of Community Colleges. Nominees are chosen for their outstanding academic achievement as well as their significant college and community service. The recipients this year are Mariano Gomez, And the second recipient is Craig Velozo. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Foundation is awarded to Rachel Angelo. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Fine Arts is awarded to Jennifer Moore. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Visual Design. There are two recipients. The first one is Bri Bri sorry, Bethany Brazil. And Joanna Kozlik. The Barry McKee Scholarship is awarded to Catherine Medeiros. The BCC Foundation Quest Scholarship is awarded to Jessica Swanson. The Beavis Dennis Redfield Scholarship is awarded to Emily Tullock. The Basil and Teresa Maravellis Memorial Scholarship recipient is Emily Romero. The Charles Markovich Memorial Scholarship recipient is Maurice Sear. And the second recipient is Brandy Evans. The CIS Business Information Systems Department Award is presented to Andrew Vanier. The CIS Computer Game Development Award is presented to Justin Mello. The CIS Computer Forensic Department Award, there are two recipients. The first one is Joshua Costa. And the second recipient is Zachary Daniels.
The CIS Information Systems Transfer Department Award is presented to Stephen Silviano. The CIS Networking Department Award, there are two recipients. First recipient is John Gonzales. Second recipient is Scott Janus. The CIS Program Programming Department Award is presented to Robert Gonzalo. The CIS Webmaster, Webmaster Department Award is presented to Robert Mayu. The CRC Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry is presented in recognition of outstanding scholastic achievement in chemistry during the freshman year. There are two recipients. The first one is Mariano Gomes. And the second recipient is Isaac Thustedt. The Captain James D. Crossan Scholarship is awarded to Dylan Pauls. The Charles E. Croshaw Jr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Eliana Lopez. Mariano, you shouldn't have sat down because you, you are the recipient of the Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> the Jessica M. Raposa 05 Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Katherine Wilkinson. The Jesse E. Richardson Art Award is given to a program student who has excelled in painting. The recipient is Emily Narr. The recipients of the Jeanette Denning Writing Awards. First place is Fauna Path. Second place is Curtis Hawkins. And third place is Fabio da Costa. The Helen Marie Booth Theater Award is presented to Caitlin Vieira. The recipient of the Kenneth M. Candeas Memorial Scholarship is Louis, Louis Torres. The recipient of the Katia Lunn International Student Award is Leonel Pereira. The outstanding astronomy students in AST 11, there are two. The first one is Evan Aurelio. And the second recipient is Timothy Schlosser. The outstanding astronomy student in AST 112. There are two recipients, Victoria Barton. And the second recipient is Sarah Nelson. The Professor Marion Wilner Art Award is presented to an outstanding art transfer student who has demonstrated creativity and excellence in drawing and design. The recipient is Kayla Angelini. <laughs> Student Math League Competition Award recipients are first place, round one, and team member 
Xiaowa Wang. Second place, round one in team member, Ashley Fry. First place, round two in team member, Jason Sadie. Second place, round two in team members, Galen Fuller. And the following team members, Antonio Borges, Brandon Charles, Adam Hathen, Henry Leal, and Ashley Saba. The Rappuccini Retort Scholarship is awarded to Zori Montanis. The recipient of the Raymond J. LaVirtue Senior Scholarship is jo Joshua Perestrello. The recipient of the Robert Sherman Memorial Scholarship is Alan Shaves. Congratulations to all of the recipients. I would now like to introduce Sarah Morrill, the Dean of Developmental Education and TRIO Programs, who will now present the awards for exemplary student writing. Good evening. The award for exemplary student writing in the disciplines showcases the writing of a single student from each of the college's academic divisions. Students' work was nominated by faculty members and judged by a committee from the respective academic divisions. This year's recipients are Division One, Sandra Smith. Her work was entitled Natalia. Division two, Charlene Canuel. Her work was titled Identifying Strategies for Promoting Civic Engagement in the Non-Engaged Student. Division three, Christopher Harrington. His work was titled Apple Corporation, Debt and Equity Securities Report. Division four, Thomas Gillio. His work was titled ACLU versus Johns Hopkins, the 1969 lawsuit that saves ethical research. And Division Six, Ryan Cornell. His work was titled, Three People I Admire. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. Ms. Joanne Preston, Dean of Humanities and Education, will present the first curriculum awards of the evening for Division I. Good evening. Uh, the curriculum award is given to graduation, gra graduating students who are recognized for the characteristics of reliability, perseverance, and high academic quality. This award expresses the college's confidence in the recipient as he or she enters the world of business, community service, or higher education. The curriculum award recipients for the Division of Humanities and Education are 
for Art Transfer and Fine Arts, Kelly Gannon. And also Colin Wetzel. The next award is Art Transfer Graphic Design, Amy Gunn Cows. Camden McCabe. And Stephanie Pacheco. The next award is Art Transfer, Web Design, and Media Arts, Bethany Brazil. <laughs> the next award is Communication, Deanne Townsend. <laughs> next award is Deaf Studies, Interpreter Option, Jamie Knight. The next award is Elementary Education, Sarah Gallant. And also Elementary Education, Karina Rees. The Liberal Arts Environmental Option is for Kenneth Glasby. The next award is Liberal Arts Math and Science Option, Rebecca Pereira. And the award Liberal Arts Professional Option Whitna Sese. And also Sandra Smith. Congratulations to all the recipients. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Calvin McFadden, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences, and he will present the Curriculum Awards for Division II. The Curriculum Award recipients for the Division of Behavioral and Social Sciences are for Criminal Justice, Dylan Pauls, as well as Luis Torres. In the culinary arts, baking and pastry option, Jessica Massey. As well as Nicole Williams. In office administration, Charlene Canuel. Let's give a hearty congratulations to all of the recipients. I'm pleased to invite Mr. William Berardi, Dean of Business and Information Management, to the podium who will present the curriculum awards for Division Three. Good evening. The Curriculum Award recipients for the Division of Business and Information Management are Business Administration Accounting Option, Sean Navin. <laughs> Business Administration Transfer, Logan Davis. <laughs> as well as Camela Fernandez.
computer, inf computer Information Systems Computer Networking Option, Eric Olford. <laughs> computer Information Systems Computer Forensics Option, Daniel Faria. Computer Information Systems Computer Programming Option, Robert Goncalo. General Studies Mass Transfer Option, Brian Chase. As well as Michael Hamill. Congratulations to all of our recipients from Division Three. It is my pleasure to invite Ms. Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Services, who will present the Curriculum Award, Awards for Division Four. The curriculum awards for the Division of Health Sciences are Clinical Laboratory Science, William Dollard. And Samantha Rose O'Connell. For dental hygiene, Tracy Lee Pelland. and Shannon Otto. And for Medical Assisting Certificate, Susan Kosinski. For Nursing, Cheryl Barlow. For Occupational Therapy Assistant, Stacy De La Vera. And Heather Watson Fournier. Congratulations to all the recipients from Division Four. <clears throat> it is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Samad Saman, Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, who will present the curriculum awards for Division Five. The curriculum awards for Division V, Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, Engineering Technology, Electromagnetic Mechanical Option, Justin Enns. <laughs> Engineering Technology, Environmental Option, Jody Raposa. Engineering Technology, Mechanical Engineering Option, Dan Boya. <laughs> Congratulations to all the recipients from Division Five. It's my pleasure now to introduce Mr. Greg Safaris, Acting Vice President of Academic Affairs, who will be presenting the Academic Achievement Awards and Class Valedictorian Award.
The Academic Achievement Awards are granted to those students graduating with an associate's degree who have earned a 4.0 perfect grade point average as of May 1st, 2013. The recipients are Justin Annis. Dan Boyer. Jeanette Calhoun. <laughs> Natasha Chassie. <laughs> Mary Ellen Connor. <laughs> Julie Couture. Ainsley Fest. Grace Lawson. Amanda Lindell. David McDonald. Mark Mastrori, M. Catherine Murray, Eric Oldford, Kristen Oliveira. Denise Rigo. <laughs> Nina Rensenhaus. <laughs> Michelle Silva. Renee Swallow. <laughs> Bettina Holian. <laughs> Karen Woodcock. <laughs> Leah Wright. Samina Worcester. Congratulations on this extraordinary accomplishment. Students graduating summa cum laude are invited to apply for the honor of giving the valedictory address. From the finalists, two students are selected to present their classmates based on their academic excellence and college and community achievements. They are designated as the valedictorian and the salutatorian of the class and lead the student processional at commencement. I am pleased to announce that this year's salutatorian is David Glenn Henry. The valedictorian who will address her classmates at commencement is Jody Raposa.
Michael Vieira, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs, will now present the President's Volunteer Service Awards. I think uh, Pete Silva's comments were right on track as far as um, paying it forward. And the uh, next group of distinguished students have been doing that, as have so many other students on campus. Um, on behalf of President Barack Obama, Bristol Community College is proud to recognize members of the college community who have successfully completed a minimum of 100 hours of community service with the President's Volunteer Service Award. The college's civic engagement program has been granted authority by the President's Council on service and civic participation to serve as a certifying organization for this award. This council was established in 2003 by President George W. Bush to recognize and encourage volunteerism throughout the country. I'm pleased to announce the bronze award recipients. Susanna Blake. Raymond Gorman. Robert Hegarty. Eliana Lopes. Nicola Machado. Joshua Monas. Andrea Pereira. Samuel, Samuel Preciado, Jr. Janice Vicente. The Silver Award recipients are Ann Brum, Mariano Gomes, Rebecca Kopsa. Jessica Massey. The Gold Award recipients are Lorenzo Dorsey, Patrick Higgins, Richard Paradise the second. <laughs> Caitlin Vieira. <laughs> and the BCC Volunteer Gold Award is awarded to Jason Sadie. I would now like to ask all of the students in the audience who are community service leaders or who are service learning and community service participants to stand and to be recognized. Thank you. In total, our students, faculty, and staff have contributed approximately 30,000 hours of service to this community. Thank you for all you do.
Now happy to introduce Kathleen Burns, Director of Student Engagement, who will present the Bronze Shield Awards. The Bronze Shield Award is given to students who have provided continuous outstanding service to a student club or organization of the college. The recipients for the Clinical Laboratory Science Club, William Dollard. Club Theater, Caitlin Vieira. <laughs> Coupon Club, Nicole Collins and Alicia St. Ives. Engineering Club, Kimberly, Bella Fury, and Joshua Monis. Medical Assistant Club, Barbara Devine. <laughs> Occupational Therapy Assistant Club, eHealth, Julie Kucha. <laughs> Skills USA, Jessica Massey, Rhonda Wheaton. Congratulations to all of the Bronze Shield Award recipients. <laughs> Stephen Ozug, Vice President of Students, will present the Silver Shield and the Scepter and Scroll Awards. Good evening, everyone. As we get to these last couple of awards, I have to point out that all of our recipients tonight are the cream of the crop of Bristol Community College, but these next couple categories are truly the cream of the cream of the crop. And these are the people that you will see in the coming days and in the coming years who will become the leaders locally, regionally, nationally, and perhaps internationally. So pay attention to these names. These are the up-and-comers. The Silver Shield Award is given to students who have made significant contributions to BCC and are recognized for rendering outstanding service of consistent high quality to the college. I ask the recipients that as you receive your award, please remain standing on stage as a group until everyone has been recognized. The first recipient, Katie Ashworth. Bethany Brazil. <laughs> Ann Brum. <laughs> Jennifer Carrera. Jessica De Medeiros. <laughs> Carmela Dixon. <laughs> Brandy Evans. Amy Gonzalez. Christopher Harrington. Aaron Martell. And his fan club. 
Douglas Mendes. <laughs> Jennifer Moore. <laughs> Stephanie Pacheco. Rebecca Pereira. Jason Sadie. And Leah Wright. Congratulations, Silver Shield recipients. And now we get to the Scepter and Scroll Award. And some of these recipients will be charged for wearing out a path on stage here and having to replace some of the staging. <laughs> the Scepter and Scroll Award is the most prestigious of the college's awards. Membership in the Scepter and Scroll Society is given to students who have provided consistent and outstanding contributions of both leadership and service to Bristol Community College. The recipients are installed in perpetuity in the Scepter and Scroll Society. Again, I ask the recipients as you receive your award to please remain on stage until the entire group has been recognized. And the first recipient, Maurice Sear. Mariano Gomes. <laughs> Garrett McDonald. <laughs> Craig Veloso. <laughs> and Caitlin Vieira. Congratulations, Scepter and Scroll recipients. I said a minute ago that the Scepter and Scroll Award was the most prestigious of the college's awards, but there's one final award, and that's the President's Award. And for that, I ask President Sprague to please come to the podium. This award is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of each recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. And I'm pleased to announce that the winner for 2013, Maurice Sear. Maurice.
Thank you, President Spraga. My sincere thanks to all of the presenters this evening. Congratulations to all the award recipients. Please give yourself another round of applause. This concludes the awards presentations. Please join us in the Commonwealth College Center for a reception in your honor, prepared by Chef Caresimo and the students in the Culinary Arts Program. Thank you all for coming and showing your support. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.